Okay, the first thing we're going to start with today are some hip mobility and stability drills. We want to do this because this helps in, um, improve our core strength, core stability. So we want to start off generally each workout with a hip series or hip workouts. The first thing we're going to have Eileen doing is a fire hydrant. She's going to bring her knee out, out to the side, get it up to hip level, and back down. We typically do about 20 reps on each side and then move on to the next exercise. Nice and controlled, up and down, looks good. All right, next thing we also do is a, a knee circle. We go forwards and backwards. So again, in that same position, she's gonna bring the knee all the way around, big circle, getting that knee at its peak, right up to hip level and back around. So you're going to do 10 forward, and then you're going to reverse that motion. There we go. And 10 backwards. Good. Making sure each time that that knee is getting up to hip level. And we'll do both sides. And notice in here, she's keeping her back nice and flat. She's not letting anything drop. You always want to keep everything nice and stable. Anytime you're working anything, if you're developing your core, you want to make sure you're maintaining that core throughout the entire exercise. Looks good. All right, next one we're going to move to straight leg side lift. So Eileen's going to bring her legs straight out to the side, leg straight. She's going to lift that foot up to hip level again and just tap the ground gently up and down. There we go. Again, we're looking for about 20 reps in this range. We're only going to go through each exercise one time because right now we just want to warm up the hips. And we'll do the other side. Again, she's maintaining that nice flat back posture. All the movements coming right from the hip with that foot coming up to hip level. Good. Okay, now she's going to lie on her back. We're going to do a single leg hip lift. She's going to cross one leg over the other. Hands on the ground down her side and she's going to push through her heel, bring her hips up high off the ground, high as she can and back down. Nice controlled motion. Sometimes you'll see kids trying to rep through it really quick. We want to control that motion, really feel it in the hips, get as high as we can and back down. And we'll do the other side as well. And just remember to push through that heel on the ground. It helps to target the right area. Good. Now I'll have Eileen lie on her side, crossing her top leg over the bottom. Bottom leg stays straight. Here she's going to lift, thinking about lifting from the heel and trying to keep her foot flat or parallel to the ceiling. Working that inner thigh. Again, about 20 reps. Looks good. And other side. If you notice, it's not a huge lift off the ground. We just want to get off the ground a few inches, just as long as she's feeling it on that inner thigh, on that bottom leg that's on the ground. That's all we're looking for.